So Stable Diffusion 3 released their new AI open source video generator named Pyramid Flow, which by the first look looks really, really promising. And by seeing some of the samples and demos, it is looking like a true competitor of Sora AI. But the problem is like right now, it is in its really early access. So yeah, today in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to use Pyramid Flow locally in your system. So one, I'm going to be showing you with Hugging Face and the other method, we're going to be downloading this model through GitHub repository. Tree. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into the installation method of Pyramid Flow. Alright guys, so here I am in the home page of Pyramidal Flow. So this is basically github.io page in which we get all the description, all the details regarding Pyramid Flow. So yeah, they claim this is a matching for efficient video generating modeling. So right off the bat, you guys can see we get uh, like the paperwork so you can go ahead and read like what exactly the pyramid flow offers so this particular model is based on stable diffusion 3 uh, image to video generation and text to video generation model so yeah if you scroll down a bit more so we get qualitative results for our text to video generation so this is the first video clip in which we have beautiful snowy tokyo city is bustling so yeah you guys might be familiar with these kind of shots so they are basically comparing uh, their model uh, with Sora AI, which was basically one of the best in class, right? So the next one we have a dust, a car is driving on the highway. So yeah, uh, on the first look, the videos look really, really good. Then we have another video, which is extreme close up of a kitchen and green pepper kebabs grilling on a barbecue. And yeah, this video looks really, really good, right? So yeah, the sample videos look really, really beautiful. Then if you go ahead and scroll a bit down, so we also get a text conditional image to video generation uh, like samples as well. So first of all, in that we have a car driving on the road. Then we have a FVB flying over the Great Wall. And yeah, you guys can see the results for now. They look really, really beautiful. Then they have also basically given us uh, the quantitative results like they have shared their benchmarks in which they claim that their model scores the best and it has like the best quality score, semantic score, but obviously we're not going to go ahead and just see the benchmarks. We're going to actually test this out and see how it works, okay? So right now, the pyramid flow is in its very early stage. So the only ways you can use this is uh, by the hugging phase repository, or you can go ahead and download this via GitHub, okay? So first of all, uh, we're going to go ahead and discuss the hugging phase repository of pyramid flow. So in the hugging phase homepage, we have a very intuitive interface, right? So first of all, we get the prompt box and in there, we have some of the additional settings in which you can control your frame per second. You can go ahead and use up to 24 frames per second. Then we have the guidance skill. So you can go ahead and increase the value of your guidance skill as well. Then you have your video guidance skill as well. So yeah, in there, you can go ahead and input your prompts. So let's just say I go ahead and take some example from like beautiful snowy uh, Tokyo city is busting. You know what? We actually use that. So let's just take this one, a movie trailer featuring the adventures of the 30 year old spaceman. And you can go ahead and get these kinds of results. So yeah, uh, for now, because obviously this is the hugging phase repository, we're not getting like very beautiful results uh, in our video, right? So they also give us like an image to video model as well, where you can go ahead and obviously drop your images right over here. And it's going to basically create the videos for you. All right. So right now, obviously, this is just a demo. So yeah, you don't get the best results uh, in the hugging face repository. So now we're going to go ahead and try with the help of our GitHub code, okay? So this is the main GitHub repository of a pyramid flow where we get all the files, all the models right over here. And if you scroll down, so we have like 10 seconds clip, five second clips and image to video model. And if you scroll down a bit more, so right now you guys can clearly see it is coming soon. So like I said, it's in its very early stage. So we're gonna go ahead and just see the installation method, like how you can go ahead and get early access to that right now. The video will be really, really interesting, you guys. Then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down a bit more. So over here, we have the whole installation method, right? So I'm going to be going ahead and install this on my Linux based machine right over here. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and take this whole installation method, simply copy everything from here. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and head to chat GPT, you guys. Okay. And simply paste my whole prompt right over here, okay? And after that, I'm gonna simply type in ChatGPT that's, I want to run this model locally in my Linux machine. Give me step-by-step -step commands on how to run this. So ChatGPT is gonna basically provide me the whole step-by-step -step method to simply download the entire model in your Linux-based machine. So this now would be a really easy process, you guys, okay? 
All right, so first of all, now I'm in my home page of my Linux machine. So I'm going to go ahead and open my terminal first of all. And simply the first step is we're going to go ahead and clone the repository and navigate to the directory. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and enter the link of my GitHub repository of Pyramid Flow. All right, so our cloning has been done. So now I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my directory. So I'm going to do CD Pyramid Flow. Okay, so now you guys can see we are in our github repository so the next step is we're gonna go ahead and set up the conda environment so for that i'm gonna simply type in my prompt that conda create and pyramid python so yeah after that i'm gonna click enter so yeah it's doing all the essential things it's retrieving notices and doing everything that i want to create to set up my conda environment all right so after everything is done so now i have to activate my conda pyramid so for that i'm gonna type here uh, my this prompt okay so everything is done so our third step is going to be we have to install the required dependencies so for that i'm going to type in my prompt that pip install requirements.txt okay so after that is going to basically install all the required dependencies all the important requirements for you in this step okay all right so after a long time when your all required dependencies will be downloaded so we'll jump into our next fourth step which will be downloading the model checkpoint from the hugging face repository so this would be the exact repository which we saw in the hugging face so that is right over here we have to basically import the hugging face uh, snapshot download and all the checkpoint models so yeah we're gonna go ahead and basically copy this uh, come to our terminal and paste this right over here first of all okay so the next one we have to basically paste this command which will be model path and then you have to basically place uh, your model path inside the inverted commas right which for me is gonna be this okay so i'm gonna go ahead and input this one now all right so right now for that you guys can see when we are downloading the hugging phase repository we are getting error so why is it because we have to basically run this inside a python script in linux right so how you can go ahead and do that there are basically two methods either you can go ahead and write the python code or the simple way that I like to do is you can go ahead and do it uh, by creating nano model. So that would be really easy one. So I'm going to go ahead and first of all, create a Python script through a nano model. So I'm going to write my command over here that nano download model.py. So it's going to basically create a Python script for me, right? So where I can go ahead and create my Python code. So in that, I'm going to go ahead and simply copy all of my code from the hugging face repository. And if you want to go ahead and run this, you have to press Control plus O. So first of all, it's going to go ahead and run this. Then we have to hit Enter. All right. So you guys can see our Python code has been done. So after that, you can go ahead and simply exit that by clicking Control X. OK. All right. So then our last step will be inferencing text to video generation models. So if we jump back to our Hugging Face repository, you can see if you want to go ahead and basically use text to video generation inside our GitHub model, so for that, you have to basically import all of this code inside of your Python script again, okay? So over here, you'll be basically inputting your prompt and then it's gonna go ahead and create text to video generation for you based on this prompt right over here. And you can simply go ahead and play around with parameters over here. So obviously, uh, I get you, this is not the ideal use uh, of this model right now, but as it's in its uh, very early stage, so yeah, if you want to go ahead and get access to that, so this is the only way right now. All right, so for that, I'm going to go ahead and simply create another nano model. So I'm going to write this once again. So it's going to create the Python script for me once again. So right now, I'm going to simply uh, delete all of this right over here. Okay. Okay, so from here, I'm going to simply paste my Python code. All right, so once it's done, simply, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and open this in my full screen. So right now, this is basically uh, would be our code right over here, okay? So first of all, you guys can see we have import tars and everything. Then you can go ahead and load the model uh, from this code. Then you can go ahead and enable VAE tiling. So after that, the main thing is you need to go ahead and input your prompt right over here. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and do a movie trailer featuring of the adventures of the 30-year-old spaceman wearing a red wool ninja motorcycle helmet, okay? And then it's going to basically generate frames using the model. So over here, you can obviously play around uh, with the steps as well. You can play around with inference steps, height, width, uh, temp, guidance scale, and everything. All the parameters are right over here, okay? So yeah, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and basically run this model. So for that, I'm going to input control O. 
and after that I have to hit enter all right so once uh, your script has been created so first of all I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this by clicking control X and now if I want to go ahead and run this I need to go ahead and type python video generation dot py so let's just go ahead and hit enter and wait for the output okay all right guys so you guys can see as soon as i start the generation so it's basically you know working on the model it's loading the checkpoint charge right now which is 100 percent and now it's overriding cpu offloading so yeah it's going to take around a bit of a while to generate uh, uh the whole video for us based on our prompt so yeah and after that when it's done it will be there into our this file of pyramid flow right so once it's done i'll be back you guys okay all right so it's gonna take around a while to generate a video for you because obviously uh it's using the python script to generate the video so yeah it makes sense that it's gonna take a lot of time so yeah once it's done uh your output is gonna be shown like this and after that you can go ahead and see your video file into the pyramid flow folder and this will be right over here so let's just go ahead and play this video All right, so there you go, guys. Uh, by the first look of the video, obviously the model looks like it is definitely in its early access. So yeah, that was just a brief installation video of how you can go ahead and easily download or install Pyramid Flow locally into your system. So yeah, I hope you like this video, guys. And if you find this video helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.